connect down. I used Gorilla Glue instead of the instead of the. I tried first with the hot glue gun, and it was leaving too big of a gap in between the blocks. Um, so I started to use the Gorilla Glue. Okay, so you're going to need three blocks on each level, and there's one, two, three, four, five levels with three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five levels with three, and then one level with two. And I alternated the way that they went. Okay, so these go that way, these go that way, these go that way, these go that way. All right, we're going to let that dry. Now the cross, I use three Jenga blocks in a straight line, and then two at the top. Okay, and we're going to let that dry. Once that's completely dry, and completely dry, and this is completely dry. You see how there's some foam, I call it foam, but it's extra glue that's coming out here. You can see the white, and you see on the cross there's like little bits of glue here. Don't even worry about that right now because that easily can be picked off when it's completely dry with a pair of pliers. You just take the pliers and you pinch the little part of glue carefully and pull it off. It's no big deal. And we're probably, for the most part, most likely going to cover it with diamond wrap. You're not going to see that anyway. And this is going to get covered as well with all of these gold blocks. Once this is all dried and you've scraped away the extra glue off of the outside, then cover front to back with these gold tiles, okay? The best that you can. You might want to paint this gold first, so that way if there's any little extra parts that aren't going to be covered by the tile, you can, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be painted, so it's still going to be gold. So that might be, um, that might be a good thing to do first, would be let it dry, pick all the extra foam off, the extra glue, and then paint it gold, and then we'll stick the tiles on. This, um, this we're just going to paint. And then you're going to need to save two of these blocks. And then these two blocks are going to need to be cut in half. So you have four pieces out of these two blocks. When that is done, we're going to glue it on the bottom of this base. On the bottom here. Okay, one in each corner. So that when we go to set it on the top of the roof, it has like little legs to stand on, help it stand still on the top of the roof. Okay. And it gives it some stability because it's going to be teeter-tottering on this peak here. Okay? So if we add the four legs, we'll be able to just glue the four legs right to the glass there. My hands are covered in glue. So I am going to go clean myself up. And I hopefully can get this off. And I will return when everything is dried. Okay, don't forget to glue these two parts together when these two are dry, completely dry, complete, bleh, I can't even talk. When they're completely dry, glue these next two together, but only when they're dry, all right? And I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I have my church in a square. Um, my glue got very messy. And I had to clean it up a bit. So, an easier way to get this thing together, because I was having such a hard time getting it to line up right so that it was square. It was off just a little bit when you glue the two halves and then you try to glue the two halves together. Um, so, a better way is to just glue one end on and then the two long parts on and leave this end off wait until these three parts here the two sides and the one end are dried and then put that part on and you will have a much easier time than I did okay what I did was I took some diamond wrap and the inside here in the corner it's a little messy you can see the glue and I don't like the fact that it's you know black like that and messy so I just took some diamond wrap and I'm going to glue it in the corner there so that it covers all that up make sure that you have like a popsicle stick or something that you can use 
when you use your hot glue to push it in there so you don't burn your fingers. You could even use the end of a paintbrush, okay? And then I also measured, so we're gonna do the four corners and then the bottom here on the inside, along the bottom, I just measured a piece to go in here, just like this. And we're gonna also hot glue that on each of the sides on the bottom, all right? I also took a gold marker and colored my Jenga blocks in um, for my cross. I think the cross came out pretty spectacular. What do you think? I'm loving it. Um, and then I'm going to cover this with diamond wrap. Okay. So cover all of those things that we just talked about with diamond wrap. Then I took some paper, glitter paper, that you get from the dollar store, okay, comes in a three pack, there's three sheets in here, I chose gold for my floor, and what I did was wrapped it up, I wasn't sure if I wanted the glass, this is the base, this is the, um, the five by seven that we're going to set our whole entire church on. Okay, so I folded it over the glass. I was going to tape it down and leave it like that, but then I thought I'm going to be gluing this onto here. And what, what if I want to set something in here? I don't want to mess up this pretty paper. So I am just going to remove this. It's going to have the creases in it now, and I'm going to know exactly how much of this paper I'm going to need to cut off so that I can then put the paper just like a picture under the glass. The glass is gonna be showing. And then I took the backing and I pulled off the little tabs that are here. Do it very, very carefully, okay? The little, the little hooks that, that comes with to hang it up. And the little, the little black stand that's on here like this gently just pull it off and the little hooks just gently pull it off okay then these lamp posts okay that you you got with all of your benches take them in your fingers of course this one's not going to work right doesn't that always happen to me and then just snap it off in your finger they break pretty easy Snap all the tops off. You're going to need about eight of them. And we're going to glue them in between each stained glass window. Okay? On the inside only. And then we're going to take some more diamond wrap. And we're going to go on the outside of the church. On the top and the bottom. And the sides. On every side here of the church we're going to cover the entire thing in diamond wrap okay so these are the next things that i'm going to do also once you have your paper cut then cut whatever ribbon that you choose this is a ribbon that i chose from dollar tree and this is going to go right in the middle and then just fold it under and then stick this Behind the glass, so the glass is going to be on top, right? The glass is going to be on top of all of this. Then you're going to put your picture frame on, and this is going to be on the back, okay? This part where you took off. So it's all going to be like this, okay? This is obviously not the right glass because it's not fitting. But this is going to be in the middle, and it's all going to be attached, and then you're going to be able to glue this on okay but we're not gluing this on until this is covered in diamond wrap okay so i'll be back when i have all of that finished okay here is the floor of the church Okay, for the inside of the church on the bottom, 
you are going to need to cut one strip off for it to fit, fit correctly. So just take your scissors and cut one row off the long way. Across the whole piece and it should fit in perfectly. And save these, we can use these for another project or we maybe can fit them in here. The strips that you cut off, you should have this long strips from the bottom pieces, glue them along the top ledge. They'll fit nicely. I'm back. I got every part of my diamond wrap on. Everything on the cross is diamond wrap. The top is diamond wrap. The bottom is diamond wrap. I glued my base down. So it's on the five by seven, it's glued. I also took the eight by 10 and I took another piece of that glitter paper out of the same pack and I put it in the eight by 10, okay? And I am just gonna use that to set the church on just for a little added bling. I also am working on the lights. I Gorilla glued and then taped a light to the top. Okay, and now all you need to do is figure out how you want your lights in there and then Gorilla Glue them, or hot glue them actually, not Gorilla Glue. You want to Gorilla Glue this only because it's heavy. And then put a piece of tape over it while the Gorilla Glue is drying. Make sure you keep your switch on the outside so it's easy to shut off and turn on. And then just glue the wire around the whole inside, okay, of the top. I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm also working on taking another set of fairy lights and running them along the outside of the cross. Okay, I'm just bending the wire and I'm going to tack it with the hot glue like here. I tacked it here. I'm going to tack it here. And then probably at the end and then run it up and keep going until I have the whole outside of the cross covered in the fairy lights and then the extra I'm just going to wind around the front okay so that's that those two projects okay those are your next two missions now when I took my diamond wrap and I measured it alongside the smaller parts here this is five across, okay, five rows across, okay, so when you measure it out, you only need three, right, so you would cut it here, this long, but then you're going to have to cut two strips away, so it's only that wide instead of that wide, okay, so the other two strips, leave them together. Do not cut, don't cut one single strip off and then another single strip off. When you are cutting them off, cut, cut it so it's three going down on one side. Okay, so look. Measure it out to here, right? We're going to get our scissors. We're going to get a cut, okay, because that's as long as we need it for this little area, but it's too wide, so we're going to cut two of these off, but when you go to cut two of them off, don't just cut them off one at a time, cut them off both together, okay, so that you have a strip with three of them on, and then a strip with two of them on, like this. Okay, so use the strip with the three to cover all the little areas. 
okay? And then save the ones with all the two on. And use that for your lid. All right, so that way you don't run out of diamond wrap. I bought three three rolls of diamond wrap and I used almost every bit of the three rolls. There's not much left here. And we're not finished yet. Okay, so we have to do the, the cross and the roof. And then the next thing we're going to do is the inside of the church. And you're going to have to decide, do you want to keep the power box on the outside? And since the roof is going to have a gap in it, okay, you can just run your little wire outside and let it hang out. If you don't mind the wire hanging outside like this, okay? and then just tack it on the inside. You're probably going to need two fairy lights for just the inside bottom of the church. Okay, so you're gonna need two for the bottom on the inside. On the whole inside, you're gonna need one for the whole top and one for the cross. So you're gonna need four fairy lights. Because we want this thing to shine after all this work we did putting all the bling on it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave my box on the outside here because it's easier to turn on and off and it's out of the way and we need to tack that in there because after we have all the lights tacked where we need them to be, we still have to glue all of our pews inside the church okay and we have to glue our little plants in there and then we need the little um a, the little part for the the priest or the preacher or whatever you call them i call them a priest some people call them a preacher whatever you prefer okay um, so let's get all that done and also we need to decide, this is optional, you can glue these little lights on the inside of your church if you want to, but you don't have to, it's up to you, okay, but so far we're going to do the roof with the lights, the cross with the lights, and the inside of the church with the lights. I will be back because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me glue little tacks of hot glue onto places. It's not very entertaining. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, here is the roof with the lights on. One down. On to the next. I just want to tell you this does take some finesse and some finagling to get these lights in. It is a bit aggravating, but if you're patient, it will work out. And I don't know if you can see this, but you see the little tabs right here? If you just stick a dot of glue back in here and you bend your wire into the shape of the corner, and you use something like a paintbrush and push the wire in until it's strong enough to stay. You can then take this wire in the middle that's sticking up and get it to hook behind this little picture frame tab. Okay, don't pull on it too hard because you don't want to obviously break that. The struggle is real, but we're going to get it. kind of hard because you got to fit both of your hands in here and try to maneuver this around and fit it where you want it to go
it is doable. So just, if you're getting aggravated, walk away from it for a second. I know it can get annoying. So, I'm just putting little globs of glue in the corners and then I'm bending my wire and then I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm sticking my wire in the glue and you want to try to not glue your lights do not glue your lights because you don't want them to break especially after all this trouble of getting these in here And yes, you're going to get glue on your windows and everything else. But that's the great thing about hot glue is it will scrape off easily on glass. Little parts here and there are going to be falling apart, but you can tack it up. Don't freak out. I just want to show you that it is manageable. It's a pain, but it is manageable. And this is only one light. This is only one pack. So I still need to do another pack of these for the inside. This is only covered the, the bottom surface of the church and up one side. And it'll go a little bit around the top. So I'm assuming that... The next one's only going to cover the top part and maybe down one wall, one corner. So, I mean, it should be lit up pretty good, though. I'm going to continue with this. And I will be right back as soon as I'm done. Okay, and to just glue this on top, I'm sticking the extra pieces, one in the back and one in the front. I just burned a large chunk of my skin off my finger. It's all good. Now I'm just going to have to fill this up under here with some glue and pray <laughs> that it stays because we have this battery pack on here too, which is also not helping. I think I need a cup of ice water for my finger. Ouch. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing because my battery is extremely low. Hopefully I'll be able to get this to stay. I'm going to get this to stay one way or another. I may burn a few more fingers off, but it's going to stay. I 
think you're just going to have to build up your glue. Let it cool. Put another layer on. And go through that whole process until you can get it to stay where you need it to stay. Hopefully I don't run out of fingertips. I had the piece in my hand and I took my hot glue gun and went right across my finger. Nice. All right, I'm gonna work on keeping this cross on the top of this roof. Hopefully I'll get it. Okay, we need to make the little part where the priest stands and talks. So I took one of the dark Jenga blocks. I'm cutting just a tiny bit off the end, about this much. And I'm gonna use my Dremel for that. And then I'm gonna glue it this side up. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a little white cross or gold cross on the front and then glue it in the middle, okay? Okay guys, I'm back and here's my church. It's all finished. I think it came out amazing. I'm so happy with it. I just want you to know that I opted to use the 8x10 on the bottom and it's great because it holds the battery packs in the back. Otherwise they'd be laying on the table. So it's much easier if you want to just pick the whole thing up and move it somewhere. You don't have to carry the battery packs as well. I did not use the hinges because I wanted to just take the top off like this. Um, I felt that it would be safer that way because I was worried if I used the, ch the hinge on it, when you tipped it back, you might make the cross fall off. And I didn't want that to happen. So I think the best option for this piece would to be to skip using the hinge. And I also didn't use my little golden knob that I had to lift it when I had the hinge on. So those were the two things that I did not put on the church. Everything else I did end up using and I hope you enjoyed this craft. I think, I think this is one of my best ones. And I am just so pleased with it. I will have a um, link in the description uh, or a photo at the end of the video of where I put the little marks to put my windows. And I will also have a little picture of the um, the layout for the stained glass on the inside and the outside so that you don't have to keep flip-flopping it back and forth to see what color goes where. I'll write it all out for you and um, you'll have it there and you can do it much easier that way. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends to come on down and join our family. And I appreciate and love each and every one of you. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas or Happy and Happy New Year. Or I hope you had a wonderful Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Feliz Navidad or whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope it was amazing. And I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day.